Hi, and welcome back to my Road to Ryzen. As I mentioned in the previous video, I was going to do some product showcases when I received uh, the products I'm going to use for my new build. Well, today we're taking a look at my new case and all-in-one cooler. It took quite a while to find a suitable case. Previously, I would mostly select cases on sturdiness and quality of build and easy to transport because I would go to a lot of LAMP parties. Uh, there were years I went to 30 or 40 LAMP parties, so... But in the most recent years, I mostly only go to our own events, so the need for transportability and stuff like that has decreased a little bit. And, well, I thought uh, aesthetics should be important too. So, this time, I went for a case with tempered glass. And I was looking at the NZXT S340 Elite, and I almost ordered one, but for some reason, I wanted to do a black and white build, and for some reason, their whole case is white, and then you have their tempered glass side window, and it's black. It looks so odd, and all the videos and project photos I could find of it, it just, it just looked wrong. So, after a little bit of more searching, I went for a Fantex case. And specifically, the Fantex P400S Special Edition Black and White Tempered Glass. That's a whole mouthful if you ask me, but the case is here, and it looks awesome. I did notice during unpacking though that um, build quality is definitely less sturdy than I'm used to. I'm used to using fractal design cases uh, for the last few years, but as I said it's become less of an issue so it should do fine. Looking at the case, it's a full ATX case which has 3 times 120mm fan mount support on the front or 2 times 140 And on the top, it has 2x140 or 2 times 120 And the 120mm fan mount on the back also. So lots of choices for you to design your own airflow. Radiator support is limited to the front though, because there isn't enough, enough clearance in the top. In the front, you can move this little uh, bay or cover to make space for your radiator and fans if you're using a 360mm radiator. In the back, it comes with cable straps which are actually screwed in, so that's nice. And uh, it also has two SSD mounts. I also really like the power supply shroud to hide all your cable mess. Awesome! Now there's a lot of features on this case which I won't be using. You can also mount two 3.5 inch drives in the power supply shroud, but I'm probably going to remove that bay. And there's hooks on the inside where you can mount additional drives. But I think I'm actually not going to use any of the supplied drive mounts and try some custom drive work. You'll see more about that in future videos. I'm hoping that this black and white theme should carry well with the RGB LEDs I'm going to be using. Yes, yes, this is going to be an RGB build, but why have tempered glass if you're not going to have any lighting in your system? I'll try and have it remain tasteful though. Moving on to the cooler, I've chosen to stick with all-in-one coolers because I've had good experience with that in the past. This time though, I went for a variant from AlphaCool. And I immediately went for the biggest all-in-one they had. I'm going to be using their 360mm Ice Bear 
in the front of the case. This radiator is quite big, but officially it should, should fit nicely in the front of the case. A special feature of the Alpha Cool Ice Bear is that you can expand the loop to maybe include the GPU in the future, or actually change the tubing to your own tubing. Not sure if I'm going to do that yet, maybe a future project. Other than that, the Ice Bear 360 comes with everything you need. I really like that they included a 3-way PWM splitter for the 3 PWM fans. And they've thrown in some thermal paste too. Now I've been a big Noctua user, uh, but I'll give these fans a chance. If they make too much noise, I can always switch to some Noctuas I still have. Alpha Cool doesn't have an AM4 mount for Ryzen yet, but I've been emailing with them and they assure me it should be available at or maybe before the launch of Ryzen. Let's hope so, because otherwise I'm going to be stuck without a CPU cooler. Well, that's it for now. I should be receiving more components soon and I'll try and make uh, a new product showcase video about those too. If you like the style of this video, give it a like. And maybe subscribe to see future updates and follow me along to the road to Ryzen. <laughs> see you later. Bye.